travel and entry requirements. The new travel and entry requirements by the Ministry of Public Health starting on 25th April 2001. Welcome to Mix Creation TV, the only channel with the two information stories from the lens. My name and Mix. Welcome to my channel. Those that are not subscribed, consider subscribing. Press the notification icon below if you want to be the first to know when I upload a new video. You'll be the first to know when I update something new. Welcome to my channel. New travel guidelines starting on 25th of April 2021. The Minister of Public Health with the government of Qatar will introduce with the effect of 25th April new travel guidelines. What are these new travel guidelines? Good news for people who recovered from COVID-19 for the last six months. Good news. These new travel guidelines will exempt the quarantine for those people that suffered from COVID-19 and recovered for the last six months. However, a point to note, these groups of people or these categories of people are divided into three categories. We shall look at each of the separate category and how the exemption of the quarantine as per the Ministry of Public Health comes in. If you want to find out more information, you can check on the Ministry of Public Health portal. The information will be displayed. For those that have queries and would like to know more about the new travel guidelines and the requirements, you can also check the Ministry of Public Health portal. All the information and your queries will be answered. Welcome to Mix creation channel if you've not subscribed please consider subscribing and place the notification you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video let us go through these categories of people I'm talking about we are looking at people who are not be who are not going the new travelers entering Qatar that are not going to be quarantined or that will not be able or will not take up the quarantine. One, if you recovered from COVID in the last six months and you come into contact with a positive COVID 19 person who does not show the signs when your PCR test shows negative that means you'll be free to go you'll not have to quarantine yourself Instead, you will do what we call the home isolation or what we call the health isolation, which is seven days to show if there is any signs. 
of COVID-19. Remember, for any travelers with the new travel guidelines who will be coming in into Qatar, will have to present a negative PCR test. We'll have to present a negative COVID certificate, which should have been taken in the last 72 hours before the flight. Still a point to note, the negative COVID test on arrival should be from the approved testing centers by the Ministry of the Public Health. This can either be from your country of departure, but it must be approved by the Ministry of Health in your country. However, still, the Ministry of Public Health stresses it that on arrival in Qatar, there are particular groups of people that will retake, will be entitled to a pre-PCR test to confirm the results. Furthermore, we look at another group of people or another category that is exempted from the quarantine by the new travel guidelines. For another person who recovered from COVID-19 for the last six months traveling to Qatar, and it gets into contact with an active COVID-19 patient, but if this person who recovered from the COVID-19 for the last six months does not show signs and the PCR test shows negative, this person will be exempted from quarantine, but rather do what we call a health self-isolation for seven days. Hope, my listeners, Hope the viewers, you are getting the difference. So this is good news, especially for people who recovered from COVID-19 for the last six months. However, this should be proved by the health, the Ministry of Health from your country that you must have suffered from COVID-19 and you recovered in the last six months. However, the still the Ministry of Public Health still stresses that people who are fully vaccinated with the two doses of either Pfizer or the Moderna vaccine and still within the probation period of the vaccine which is six months, they will not need to quarantine but just free to move straight to their areas of destination. However, still a point to note that all 
the PCR testing or the COVID-19 test certificate provided on arrival in Qatar should be coming from the approved testing centers, which are approved by the Ministry of Health in your country of origin or which are approved by the Ministry of Public Health here in Qatar. For more information about those approved testing centers, you can as well check on the Ministry of Public Health portals. Most of those health centers are being displayed. For more information about these new travel guidelines, you can as well click on the Ministry of Public Health portal or public Minister of the Public Health page, you will have a review and more explanation about this new travel guideline. So guys, I think this is a new opportunity for whatever people that is coming in Qatar. And for those that have suffered from the COVID-19 for the last six months. However, To control the spread of the virus, it is not my responsibility alone, it is your responsibility. Follow the precautionary measures put in place by the government. The Ministry of Health, both in the country of origin and the country of destination. For those that have not subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel for more updates.